It took me too long to find clear documentation on how to set up the DX3S for four-wheel steering and crab steering. I figured it out and this is how I did it. Team Baxter. Of course the first thing you need is a DX3S. I'm sure this method will work on other radios, but for this video I'll be speaking specifically about the DX3S. Then you need a truck with dual steering linkages. This is the front, this is the back, both set up to steer like normal. After you get your truck set up, you install your rear steering servo. It's not required to reverse this rear steering servo because we're going to do that with mixing. You need a three channel or more receiver. I use a SR300, sometimes I use a SR300WP which is the same receiver except for it has waterproof leads coming out of it. Into this receiver, I plug the first steering channel into the regular steering channel and the second steering channel into the auxiliary channel. Once you have all that set up and put away, here's how you configure your radio. I'm going to start at the main menu. From there you push your roller wheel. and scroll down to auxiliary setting. Here you can see I have rear steering set up. First thing you have to do is enable the mix. Here I have the mix enabled. Disenable just turned off my whole four wheel steering setup. So turn on mix. That allows the auxiliary channel to send steering output to your rear servo. After you enable the mixing, you want to go to FR. You enable this and that turns on your switch on the side. This switch is what you'll use to turn on and off four wheel steering. These are your high and low rates. This top one you want to think of as an on switch. The bottom one you think of as an off switch. Default these both come set at 100 percent all the way. By putting mine to zero in the down position that disables dual steering. When the switch is off down as in that position rear steering is off. When I flick the switch up this enables dual steering. So you want crab steering. Well, since the radio doesn't have three position switch, this you have to flick on manually. Your two position switch is already configured to turn dual steering on and off. So by changing the auxiliary reverse, this just affects the way your servo reacts to your input. So now you get crab steering when you reverse the auxiliary channel. And that's all there is to it. When I'm driving and I need crab steering, I generally leave it on this page, on the reverse page and use the auxiliary channel to alternate for, back and forth between crab steering and regular dual steering. And I want to turn both features off and just use front steering, flick the switch off.